space is rapidly becoming the next arena for global competition, and China's latest innovation takes this race to new heights. Inspired by whale hunting techniques, Chinese scientists have developed a revolutionary method to target satellite constellations like Starlink. Using only 99 satellites, they simulated an operation that could approach 1,400 Starlink satellites in just 12 hours. This cutting-edge breakthrough has major implications for space security and global geopolitics. In this video, we'll uncover how this strategy works, why it's a game-changer, and what it means for the future of space exploration and defense. Chinese scientists have developed a novel satellite targeting strategy inspired by the collaborative hunting behavior of whales. This innovative method mirrors how whales herd fish into a tight group for efficient capture, adapting this natural behavior to the complex challenges of space operations. In a groundbreaking computer simulation, researchers coordinated 99 satellites to approach and interact with 1,400 Starlink satellites within a 12-hour time frame, a feat that showcases remarkable efficiency in tackling large-scale satellite networks. The method relies on advanced algorithms capable of generating a comprehensive and reliable action plan in under two minutes. This unprecedented speed and precision come from cutting-edge computational models and ground control systems designed to operate in real time. By assigning precise roles to each satellite in the Chinese network, the system optimizes their movements to effectively track, monitor, and potentially disable specific Starlink satellites. Starlink, operated by SpaceX, is the largest satellite constellation ever launched, with thousands of satellites providing global internet coverage. Its scale and reach, while beneficial for communication, present potential challenges to national security for countries like China. The simulation results indicate that it is possible to counter these constellations efficiently using a relatively small number of satellites equipped with advanced technologies like lasers or microwaves. What makes this strategy particularly unique is its focus on minimizing operational costs while maximizing impact. Just as whales conserve energy during hunting, this approach reduces the resources needed to engage a vast network like Starlink. The ability to execute such a plan with precision and efficiency signifies a leap forward in satellite maneuverability and control, making it a critical development in space technology. This whale-inspired strategy represents a shift in how nations can address the challenges posed by mega-constellations. It's not just about monitoring satellites, but potentially disrupting them with pinpoint accuracy. The militarization of space has become a growing concern, and China's advancements in satellite targeting technology are a response to perceived threats. Starlink initially designed for global internet access, has demonstrated significant military applications. Its role in the Russia-Ukraine conflict, providing resilient communication systems even in war zones, has elevated its strategic importance. For China, this reinforces the need to monitor and, if necessary, neutralize such systems to safeguard its national security. China's simulation underscores its recognition of satellite constellations as dual-use technologies. While Starlink's primary purpose is civilian, its ability to enhance military communication and intelligence cannot be ignored. The Chinese research team led by Wu Yunhua highlighted the potential threat such mega-constellations pose to space security. By developing methods to track and potentially disable satellites, China aims to counterbalance the strategic advantage held by operators like SpaceX and by extension the United States. This development reflects broader trends in space militarization. China isn't alone in this pursuit. Other nations, including the US and Russia, are actively exploring anti-satellite ASAT technologies. However, China's approach sets itself apart by focusing on non-debris generating mechanisms. These methods, which include using directed energy weapons like lasers and microwaves, aim to disable satellites without creating hazardous debris in orbit. This is crucial as space debris is already a significant issue threatening the sustainability of space operations. The simulation's success in using only 99 satellites to engage a network of over 1,400 highlights the strategic efficiency of this approach. It demonstrates that large constellations, while seemingly overwhelming, are not invulnerable. 
By identifying key nodes within the network and focusing efforts there, the simulation achieves maximum impact with minimal resources. China's advancements raise important questions about the future of space security. As nations develop more sophisticated tools for countering satellites, the risk of an arms race in space grows. The development of satellite targeting technology poses significant ethical and strategic challenges that extend beyond national security concerns. While the Chinese whale-inspired method is a technological marvel, it highlights the delicate balance between innovation and responsibility in the space domain. As space becomes increasingly congested with satellites and debris, actions taken by one nation can have far-reaching consequences for all. One of the most pressing issues is the potential for these advancements to spark a space arms race. If nations begin developing and deploying technologies to disable satellites, it could lead to an escalation of tensions and an increased likelihood of conflict extending into space. This raises the question, how far should nations go in defending their interests in orbit? The lack of clear international regulations governing the militarization of space complicates matters further. Without agreed upon norms, the use of such technologies could spiral out of control. China's emphasis on non-degree generating disabling mechanisms demonstrates an awareness of the broader implications of its actions. Unlike traditional anti-satellite weapons that rely on physical collisions or explosions which create dangerous debris, the use of lasers or microwaves minimizes collateral damage. This approach aligns with a growing recognition that space sustainability is a shared responsibility. However, even these methods are not without risks. Disabling satellites could disrupt global communication networks, navigation systems, and other critical services, affecting civilian and military operations alike. Another ethical consideration is the dual-use nature of satellite constellations like Starlink. While they provide essential services like internet access, they also have significant military applications. Targeting such systems could blur the lines between civilian and military assets, raising questions about proportionality and the justification for such actions. These complexities make it essential for nations to engage in dialogue and establish rules that differentiate between legitimate security measures and actions that could be perceived as acts of aggression. The strategic challenges extend beyond immediate conflicts. As nations like China, the US, and Russia continue to develop advanced space technologies, the need for international cooperation becomes more urgent. Establishing norms and agreements to prevent the weaponization of space will be critical to ensuring its long-term viability as a domain for exploration and innovation. The Chinese simulation serves as a wake-up call, emphasizing the importance of addressing these challenges before they escalate. China's whale-inspired approach to targeting satellite constellations represents a significant advancement in space operations and security strategies. By leveraging biomimicry and advanced simulations, China is enhancing its capabilities to monitor and potentially neutralize perceived threats in space. This development prompts important discussions about the future of space security, the ethical implications of anti-satellite technologies, and the necessity for international cooperation to maintain the peaceful use of outer space. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.